good morning good morning everyone so welcome back to my channel love charms world and today we're going on a four-day trip okay so where are we going today so today we're going from JFK to Chicago and then we have a beautiful three hour sit in Chicago. Isn't that nice? <laughs> and then we dead head to Atlanta and then I forgot where else we end up. But then, yeah. So three flights today and then we're done. Um, this is one of those four day trips where you have little sits in between. Three hour oh. sit. So, not too happy about that. Anyways, going to the gate. So, you know, the bus isn't running. So, and my gate, of course, today is at the last gate, B55. So, <sighs> this should be fun. Anyways, heading there now. And I'll see you guys when I get there, I guess. Ooh, elevator. More flights on the board this time. See that? More flights on the board this time comparing to last month. You remember there was like four or five flight when during this pandemic. So that's a plus size sign for us. You know, I really want this to pick back up for us. comment down below and if you're new don't forget to subscribe all right i'll see you guys in a few guys just arrived in chicago now we have a three and a half hour sit yay i'm tired i'm gonna try and see if i can find somewhere to take a little nap 
so guys I actually we actually um, decided to come on an earlier deadhead to Atlanta because we have a crew room there we could just chill in the crew room instead of just staying in Chicago so on our way guys so this is, have been a long drawn out day for no reason so I didn't, haven't been vlogging because there's have they haven't much been going on either way it's day one so still have plenty of time to vlog but um now we're on our way to Knoxville um we just got off a five hour sit because originally we we're supposed to sit three hours in um, Chicago and then come here to Atlanta and then have like an hour and change so um, luckily as soon as we got in there was an Atlanta flight that was boarding so we asked to switch to that flight and then we came here to sit in Cincinnati in Chicago because there is no crew room in Chicago because we don't have a base in Chicago and you know like we'd rather come to Atlanta where we have <clears throat> a base and we could go to the crew room, you know, and chill and do whatever. So that's what we did. So now, on the plane, I'm gonna clean my area and then we're going to Knoxville. And then, yeah, tomorrow we only have two flights. Finish tomorrow at 11 something, so yeah. But the day after that, we gotta sit. And then the last day we gotta sit. Oh, and the last day, I we go through Newark again and then deadhead to JFK. So, yeah. Anyways, I'm going to clean up and um, get this day finished. Yeah. <laughs> good morning, good morning, good morning, everyone. So, today is day two of four. And, yeah, today we're going to... Um, Detroit and then we have a layover in somewhere in PA, PA somewhere anyways so I was reading yesterday on a Facebook group that the airlines will not be taking the bailout money because that's going to put them in more debt and they would rather risk it to furlough people I mean furlough does not mean you're fired furlough just simply means that you're going to be like put on leave until things pick picks up back at work laid off is like you know kind of like a cute way to say thank you for your service dot 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 right okay so so they would rather risk it to furlough their people than to take that money because if they take that money it's gonna put them back into debt and i was like hmm i thought this was gonna help them but i guess not so correction for last week this is the correction anyways so i am ready i'm gonna put my shoes on and get on with this beautiful day. I hope that today's a good day and I hope that you guys are having a good day or a good evening thus far because you guys are gonna get this in the evening or when you see this. I hope that you're having a good day and yeah, let's get this day started. <laughs> guys, just got on and I'm trying to pull up these seats. So, Running like crazy outside. Just makes me want to go home and sleep. Yeah, it's running like crazy outside. Let me take this off real quick. Um, yeah. So there's a storm going passing by. 
Just like in Jamaica, they said it's been raining every single day so far. Which they need it because it haven't rained in like four months in Jamaica. So it's good that they're getting all the rain now, you know, to clear out all that stuff. Get some water. I think now is a good time, like if you live in a Caribbean and stuff, to like get one of those, um, to store water, you know? Now is a good time to store water because a lot of rain, it's rainy season, you can store water that could last you for maybe for a couple months, you know, survival tip. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to clean and do my checks and then get this day started. So we just arrived in Detroit and we're have a little sit, well not really a little sit, but just enough time for them to clean the aircraft. So I'm here opening the bins and also checking to see if they left anything behind. And I have to get off the aircraft because they have to spray down everything, disinfect and disinfect the aircraft, you know, to clean it. And yeah. Hi. Hello. Hey guys, so I just arrived in my hotel room and they seem to have a lot of stuff around. I'm looking and they have Target. See? Look at the nice pool. So the pool has like an opening and there is like an inside one and the one outside. So yeah, and they have... I don't know if you guys could see over there they have an outlet chick-fil-a and behind the hotel they have like a behind the hotel they have a area like a a little outlet stretch i think no they have some stores around there and they have target so i need to run to target because i need some stockings what are the coincidence my stocking ripped well i have one more but one of my stocking rips so i'm gonna go re-up on some stockings and then i think i'm gonna walk to chick-fil-a and i'm gonna see what the outlet have i've never been here before harrisburg pa this is my first time i kind of like the, the layovers that we have now because we get to experience new places and this is one of them that i've never been so yeah that's a plus size to this so Yep, um, let's see. The rooms are a little, you know, okay. Um, let's see, do you guys want a room tour? So quick room tour, guys. This is the bed. I think they should have ironed the sheets before they placing it on the bed because it just, either way, that's just me. And, but this is the room. I think they, you know, when it comes to these type of hotel, when they iron the sheets and stuff, it will make it a little plush, you know, like makes the, the bed look spread. Like when the sheets are like that, it just looks blah. Just an option. Just, I don't know. Maybe it's just me. And this is the bathroom. It's not bad. It's uh it's okay. It's a plus because it's around a lot of things, so that's good. Um so I'm going to go get dressed, charge my phone a little bit and then start my day. Good morning everyone. So today is day 3 of 4 and it's now 4 something and we don't finish today until like after 5. So we have a long day ahead of us today. Um, right now we go from Harrisburg, PA to, um, where are we going? To Detroit. And then we start our day. So, um, let's see what today brings, shall we? <laughs> um.
it. And of course we came into B and we have to go to A69. So walking over there, guys, it's 46 degrees. Like summer just flew by. It's time for winter, time for coat, time for everything. Oh my God. <sighs> Anyways, now we have a St. Louis turn and then we're done. No, and then we'll go to Raleigh Dorm. Bye, have a good day. <sighs> so yeah, Raleigh Dorm turn. And I mean, St. Louis turn and then we go to Raleigh Dorm tonight. Hey guys, so just made it to my other hotel in Raleigh, Durham, and I am tired. From 5 a.m. to after 5, it's now, let me see what time it is. It is now 5.56 and I just walked into my hotel room. I'm tired. When I say when flight attendants need at least three four days off after they come off a trip well me personally some people could go on and on I personally need a couple days to get my energy back up because flying takes a toll on your body anyways I think I'm gonna close out the vlog for now and not much is going on just wanted to take you guys along with me to work and um, I just want to say hello to my new subbies and thank you guys for stopping by and subscribing and thank you guys so much for who have been supporting me from day one. Thank you guys so much for watching, liking, commenting and supporting me. Um, and I'm going to close it out. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. I love you guys so, 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 so very much for watching. Hashtag love to 1k. Our family is getting bigger and bigger and I am proud of the direction in which my channel is going and I just want to say thank you guys because without you guys it would not be possible in the direction in with which it is going. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. I hope you have a wonderful day and I see you next week. Bye. Hey guys, so I know I closed out the flight. Oh, I know I closed out the flight. I'm not the flight. I'm saying it. I know I closed out the vlog. Let me take this off. I know I closed out the vlog, but we have a maintenance issue. And guess what? It's day four for the last day. Of course, the last day curse. We have a maintenance issue and they're going to try and fix it. And it's going to take maybe an hour or more to be fixed so we were supposed to be going from Raleigh Durham to Minneapolis right now and then have like a three hours and 12 minutes sit in Minneapolis and then go to Newark so I'm kind of glad it's bad but I'm kind of glad because um that just cuts down the time for when we go into Minneapolis we don't have to sit there for so long so I'm sad for the passengers but what they're gonna do is reroute some of the passengers so that they could catch their flights and those that like that's their last stop or something you're just gonna let them stay on the flight so that's gonna be that so our point our flight is gonna be emptier probably so I don't know what's gonna happen they're gonna have to try and fix the plane right now and then get back to us as to what's to happen so oh I need to go buy something to eat because I'm so hungry it's like <laughs> It's ate something in the um oh where did my lighting go? It's eight something in the morning. For some reason I touched something on the phone and the lighting went down. I don't know what I touched, but I keep you guys posted. Ooh, and get back to you. Let me go fix this. So guys, update. This is gonna be bad for me so now it's uh it's 10 28 we're supposed to been be in minneapolis our next flight is at 103 105 so if we leave at 10 45 we get 12 45 and we have 20 minutes to go to do our next flight which i highly doubt we're gonna do so 
um, they might just deadhead me from Minneapolis but everything in Minneapolis just looks blah because everything leaves at like 12 um, 12 something in Minneapolis to JFK to Newark to LaGuardia so I'm just looking for best possible way for me to go home so I was looking at um, Minneapolis to Detroit um, let me see to Detroit um, guys <laughs> I swear to, every time I'm in um, Raleigh Durham something always happens something okay um, so there's a flight to from Minneapolis to Detroit at and it gets at 310 and it gets to Detroit at 546 p.m. let me see 546 Detroit to JFK and from Detroit so 546 p.m. and then there is a full oh snap no I don't know how I'm gonna get home guys I don't know because they do the timing thing all based on um like you can't go over a certain amount of hours to get home which sucks and I don't want to spend a night in Minneapolis I want to go home so this is just bad for me so unless we get to go in I, I kind of hope we get to go in to actually do the flight to Newark so that I could be home so I, I just prefer if we just did that because if they could get somebody to board the flight and then we could just go in and then um, we could go in and then continue the flight like board in the meantime and then wait for us to get there so that we could get into um to new york to newark on time because i honestly don't want to stay in um minneapolis so um we're supposed to be boarding soon and we have 20 people on board because they had to reroute everyone else so that they could catch their connecting flights so um, now they're putting the bags back on the aircraft and they're waiting to get paperwork so hold on she's gonna say something well they said that he's kind of ninety percent sure that he was gonna happen is he gonna Well, I want to actually do the flight to Newark now because that's the only way for me to get home today. So I hope we get in on time <laughs> to do that flight. So it's either they get somebody to board that flight until we get in and then we take over and go to Newark because everything else gets in at like 9, 10 in the night and I need to get home today. I can't hear you. I'm like, guys. So said, the thing is that he said that they're gonna remove it when we leave the air. That's the problem. We boarded. Boarding, guys. I'll see you guys when I get there. Guys, so it's now five something. We just got into Newark. I'm tired. So, um, basically they delayed the other flight but what happened was they didn't inform them to let them know that our flight was delayed so it, we just came to the gate late so it looked like we were just like not showing up 
and when we got there they were like oh they forgot how do you forget something like that anyways um hi how are you guys hi hi anyways um we ended up doing the flight to Newark but then when we got on the plane we had another maintenance issue <laughs> so it's like a maintenance day today so um they fixed that issue and then where am I walking guys I almost got lost just <laughs> I got lost just now but I'm trying to run to go get something to eat because I had a sandwich at like seven something this morning and I'm starving now but we had a delay on the Newark flight because there was another maintenance issue and so that's another thing so now we're gonna limo to JFK and then I am done for the day and I'm tired guys tired I'm so tired